Howdy there folks, how are y'all doing? My name is Reese, and today I'm going to show you how to install the Twitch Launcher and download the Rad Minecraft Mod Pack. So, let's get right into it. And getting started, the first thing you'll want to do is launch your browser of choice. We are using Firefox today, and there's a link in the description you'll want to follow to twitch.tv slash downloads, where you're going to download the appropriate app. So we have options for Windows and Mac OS. This tutorial is being done on Windows, but the uh, installation procedure is the same across both, or at least pretty close, so you should be able to follow along. Click Download for Windows, click Save File, and you have a couple of options for this. So by default, it should download to your Downloads folder. So you can open your File Explorer, uh, that would be Finder if you're on Mac OS, go to Downloads, and there it is. It is still downloading, so it shows up as a couple of parts. There we go, when it's done, you have Twitch set up. Alternatively, most browsers will have a download icon like we have right up here. You can click on that and it'll show you your recent downloads. You can either click on this to launch it or click on this to open up the folder that is contained within, which is what we're going to do. We're going to double click on Twitch setup and we're going to begin the installation process. Click install and it's going to validate the files, all that good stuff. You'll notice it just dropped shortcut on the desktop. If you don't want that, you can delete that. It will not delete the application. That is only a shortcut. Now, once it is done loading, it'll ask you to log into Twitch. You should feel perfectly comfortable doing this as this is the official Twitch app made by Twitch. So go ahead and log in with your Twitch credentials. Once you are signed in with your Twitch account, you'll want to go to the mods section and you will want to click on Minecraft. Once that's loaded, it'll say, let's play Minecraft. Looks like a few pieces are missing. Click the button below to get started, so click on install. Once it's done, it'll take us to this screen where you can browse mod packs, and we are going to look for Rad. Uh, it usually shows up, yep, right there. Uh, if it does not show up, though, you can search right over here. And remember, I don't know if searching for Rad will actually make it pop up, or if we do R, A, D, I didn't think so. You're going to want to type in uh, Rogue Like Adventures, and it's already there. But, you know, you can type in the full thing. It'll pop right up here. You just click install, and it will begin the process of installing. So we can go back to my mod packs now. And there's the roguelike adventures and dungeons pack installing. Did I get the name right? I always get the name wrong. The first part I remember, I always remember that it is, is roguelike. Yeah, adventures and dungeons. I oftentimes think, is it dungeoneering? But it's not dungeoneering. It's just dungeons, which is for the best. Uh, this process will take a little while because it's got to download and install everything. But once it's done, we will resume. Once it is done, you can click on play. But we're not going to do that. We're actually going to click on the pack itself so that we can look at a couple of other options. So first off, if you want to pick a particular version, you can do so right up here. Update to new profile. If you want to, say, have two different versions, maybe you've got this one, but you want to test this one for some reason, click update to new profile and uh, then click continue. Why don't I go ahead and make that full screen so we can see it a little bit better. Right over here, we have a cog, which will let you open the folder. So if you want to very quickly add, uh, let's say, a resource pack, you can get in there and add it. Also, under the cog, we have the option to duplicate, export, repair, delete, submit crash reports, all kinds of very useful things. Profile options, though. This is where things get fun. So you can either use system memory settings or you can set your own. So if you have more RAM that you want to assign to this thing, go for it. But there's really diminishing returns after about four gigs. Maybe if you're using a hefty, hefty resource pack. But I always recommend sticking to about half of your system memory. So if you have two gigs, uh, put it at one gig and hope that it plays. If you have four, put it at two. If you have eight, put it at four. I usually keep it at around eight. Uh, if you select use system memory settings, we're going to cancel out of this. It'll use the settings from the launcher. If you want to change the default setting for all of your packs, you can actually go over here and then go to your settings, click on Minecraft, scroll on down, and you actually have a ton of options here. So you can change Java version, the amount of RAM that is allocated to the packs by default. You can change where it's installed. Uh, your resolution, your desktop resolution, you can, uh, you know, use your desktop resolution as opposed to custom values. So if you want uh, Minecraft to launch at whatever your desktop resolution is, you can click that on. Uh, there's lots of interesting things you can do here. And of course, to get back to Minecraft, just kick mods, Minecraft, there's rad. You can install some more packs while you're here if you want to go ahead and uh, let's see what's good. RL Craft, I hear, is fun if you hate yourself. Uh, Sky Factory 4, Sky Factory 3, absolute classic, love it. Uh, Sky Odyssey, not my cup of tea, but people do enjoy it. Stoneblock 2 is great. I have a great series of that. Sevtech Ages, 
I actually have an installation guide for Subtech Ages that is for some reason my most popular video. Well, no, it's not. That It's far behind the Grand Theft Autos, but in terms of tutorials, uh, lots of people want to know how to install this one. Uh, and now you know too. Uh, so, hey, let's, let's go back to my face. And there you go. Now you know. So uh, hopefully you were able to follow this guide uh, all the way through to the end and you didn't have any issues. If you did, comment down below. Someone else might be able to help you. If not, you can always reach out to the folks who actually run the Twitch launcher and uh, I'm sure they'll be able to offer some sort of support. Uh, until next time, thank you folks for watching. God bless you. Be sure to subscribe and watch the Rad series coming out in about uh, three hours. Until next time, I'll see you all later. Bye.